river. And, and, uh, but, you know, they could have come from Oklahoma. We don't know. Well, that was the whole... Can I record this so I can remember it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm not actually sure. Do I press the red? Yeah. Okay. Grandma Thornsbury was a Thornsbury. Was a well, that was that wasn't her. That was her married name. Right. What was her married name? I, I, we never did find out. Who were, uh, Pete and them never would. They never did say too much about their family. I don't know if they're ashamed of the Indians or what. I don't know. So on his on his mother's side, there was uh, probably she was an only child. She was an only child. The the girl. Welsey was her name. Welsey? Welsey. That's it. Yeah. Welsey. Her last name? Thornsbury. Welsey Thornsbury was Grandpa Pete's mom. Mm -hmm. And she was half. And she was half, maybe Osage? Or Cherokee. We don't really know. Osage. Is there anybody that would know that? No, we've tried to find out since, you know, Katie and all of us have. But Did we, you look on the blood registry? Yeah, the, um, we, we haven't been able to find them yeah. then because we don't know her last name. Oh, you don't know her maiden name? No, if we knew her maiden name. So, we'll see Thornsbury and maiden name unknown. And, um... Are there any kind of unusual middle names that came down to those boys? Well, no. The, like Pete was Adam Lee. Right. And the, Katie's husband was George Ray. So uh, they, they was very... And his other brothers that lived, there was John O'Neill. Uh-huh. And there was Thomas. Let me see what was his name. Uh, I don't like Dale. Dale. Thomas Dale. Thomas Dale. Carmen, you know, and then there's Frank uh, McKin McKin McKinley. Frank McKinley. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, then they had a sister, Eve Lee. Eve Lee. Eve E V E Lee. Uh huh. You know, and uh, they just had one sister that lived. Right. And so, uh, as I said, Pete's family had a hard life. And how about his dad? Do you know anything about his dad's history? His dad's history? Other than he was a drunk, he, he always claimed that, you know, he had a bad back and he never could work. And he he expected, in fact, he told his children that they owed him a living. Uh -huh. That all of his children owed him a living. Wow. That's <laughs> a little backwards, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, what? I mean, he told all of them that, so I even heard it, so I right. know it. So I know you heard it. him say it to him. Yeah. Him. And that's one reason we came out to Oregon is uh, get away from dad. His dad, no, Pete and I, uh, my dad, my dad farm, uh, was a farmer, and he let Pete and me, when we got married, farm with him. Uh -huh. And any time, you know, we'd have crops or hay or anything, his dad would get it or get the money or something, oh. and uh, we never could, you know... So he take kind of take it from his son. Yo, oh, he took yeah. everything. Was what? Do, what do you know about his background, his dad? Well, his grandfather's name was, was Roy, and uh, he Roy was, Harmon. Mm -hmm. And he was just like uh, Pete's dad was name was uh, Roy Edwards. Roy Edwards. And they always called him Jake. Jake. <laughs> Why I don't know, but they did. Uh huh. And uh, uh, they were both just really not nice men, you know, neither one of them. Neither his dad or his grandfather. Mm -hmm. But were they, it sounds like Harmon, that's an English name. Uh -huh. I don't know, we, we've got a little bit on the Harmon, but uh, we got a lot. Did they, uh, did you know anything about um, his dad's mom? No, I always, no, I really didn't know nothing about his I know he had one brother that died with me, Jake uh -huh. did, uh -huh. but uh, I really didn't know nothing. I knew he's Jake's dad, Roy Harmon, because he was, I had seen him, he, you know, after we got married, we'd seen him, but he just wasn't a nice man, and he expected his children. Uh, Jake had one brother by the name of Claude. He was in service. Uh-huh. And uh, 
in World War II, and while he was gone, his wife, he lived with this lady, and it was Claude's wife's mother, and they, Claude Nell was her name, Nell, and they thought uh, they was married, but when they both died, they found out they had never married. But he was like Jake. He, he never did work in that. He expected his children to provide and make him a living. Tell me again, I kind of lost track of who Claude and Nell. Claude is Jake. That's Pete's uncle. Claude okay. is Pete's uncle, and Nell is his aunt. Okay. And uh, he, Claude was in World War II. Claude and Harvard. That's not the old school. Over here. And neither of them really worked. Well, Claude did. Claude was a farmer, Pete's uncle. But Jake and his father, he was supposed to farm, but he didn't. He, and he was always very sickly, he said. Did, he get, did they have land from the family that no. they lived the farm on? No, they just rented it. Sharecrops is what they did. Right. You know, they just sharecrops. When you, you sharecrop back in those days, you you made, you made did all the work and all the crop, and you just get a fourth of it. The owner got, you know, a third of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you really worked for nothing. Right. <laughs> but his, uh, his uncle was farming his own land? Yes, his uncle farmed his own land. his uncle get his own land? His own land. Yes, his uncle his own his own land. He bought it after he got out of service. He, oh. His wife, Nell, had saved up money. Uh-huh. And that, again, was one of the things that uh, his dad, Claude's dad, would uh, uh, want to, every time, you know, she got any money, and they went had to pretend they went to the bank to borrow money because they was out of money. And that's the only way they could keep him from getting all their money. Mm-hmm. And they bought, the, you know, their farm. I think it was 48 or something. Of course, back then, the land was so cheap, you know. You'd buy $10 an acre compared to what they is now. For 1000 or $2,000, you could buy a pretty good farm back then. But you had to... You had to clear it, you know. When I right. say clearing it, that you had to cut down the trees and the brushes and the, and the and the fairy vines and everything to clear it to plant, you know, which is a hard process. That's a lot of work. And, but they cut the trees down and that and sold wood. See. Hey, you guys, you kids. I was wondering if you would want to go out in the backyard and see if you could get a bunch of those. Think? They're all right. They're all right. It's nice to be in that Oh, I know. And it's so nice out in the backyard. I know. You know. It's really nice. yeah. And since they can't get out or over or anything, you know, it's really. If you get out in, you can't get out. We had a dog here a while back, got in, and couldn't get out. <laughs> jumped off that high fence down in my yard and then he couldn't get back out. But my my family, my side of the family came from Colorado. Really Colorado. My father and mother worked out for people till they got back to Missouri. Where'd they come from? Did they go to Colorado? They lived in Missouri. They, uh, Poppy did. Mommy was a from Colorado, mm-hmm. and my dad was from uh, Osceola and Clinton and all of those towns back there we grew up in. Mm-hmm. And he went to Colorado and he was far, uh, you know, helping farm, you know, picking fruit of potatoes, picking up potatoes and stuff like that. And he met mom. Where, so his name was, what was his name? My dad's name was Walter William Smith. Walter Williams. Mm-hmm. And mommy was Edith Elmina Gardner. Gardner. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so the, after they got married, which mom was real young, but they came, uh, mommy's parents and all of them came to Missouri, Clinton, Missouri. And my mother's parents were pretty well to do people. And, uh, they had five or six big teams packed full of furniture. Uh-huh. And when they came to Clinton, Missouri, uh, 
Mom used to play the organ and stuff, and they had some organs and furniture they sold to buy a farm. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather Gardner, uh, Thomas Gardner was his name, and it's been so long I can't think of Grandma's name. But anyway, they sold some furniture and stuff and bought a farm. And uh, that's when I think, no, I think my dad met her in Missouri when they came from o uh, you know, up to Clinton and Oak Hill. Mm -hmm. And as I said, Poppy was about, like 20, but I think Mommy was 17. Uh -huh. And, uh, and so we're, they met in Missouri? Yeah, Clinton, Missouri. Uh -huh. And uh, then they moved to Iconium, Missouri, which is 10, 15, 20 miles from that. And then they come on down to Osceola. My dad's dad name was John Smith, and he lived down there. He was a preacher. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And uh, John Smith. And did uh, and where did his people come from? They was all from Missouri. My dad's family was uh -huh. from Missouri. But before that, they were were they? On well, the they're uh, my my side of the family are Englishmen. My mother's family was English, and my dad was English and German, and my mother was English and Irish, and I can't think what else, but anyway, uh, my mother's side of the family, as I said, was wealthy people, and they came from English, and that paper, Benny, remember I had the revolution thing? That's where my family, and you know, that that is very important because if you get in touch with us, and I seen it in the paper the other day, the Ladies of Revolution, you can get grants and stuff for right, your children. Right, yeah, the Daughters of the American Revolution, my grandma was a Yeah, a, yeah. yeah. And uh, it tells you, that paper tells you, Gardner, uh -huh. yeah, and he was with Washington, wasn't he? And, I don't know what all it was. He was, he was an important man. Uh -huh. My mother's people was pretty well to do, and uh, but my dad's wasn't. They just regular laborers. Right. Do you think you had any? Did you have any uh, Native American heritage on your mom or dad's side? Well, they tried to say my dad's side, but we never could find it. Do you have an idea which side of your dad's side it would have been? Your dad's mom it would have been his dad's. It would have been his dad's So your side. father's father? Mm -hmm. But did I... They, what did they tell you? What? Well, they just said, you know, his sister and that always said he, she was part Indian, but... Did she say what, tribe? We, uh, we've never found it that we was anything of Indian on our side of the family. Mommies or poppies, either right. one. So we just, but what, was there hearsay about what tribe? More or less, it, no. They yeah. just said they just said Indian. They didn't yeah. say which one. Yeah. But we never, and none of us look Indian, you know. Uh huh. Where you know Pete looks Indian, you know, his side of the family all looks Indian. You know. All the brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And his sister very much yeah. looks Indian. And, uh, but. Um, but you think Grandpa Pete, he just had the Native American come, coming down from his... Uh, grandmother. His grandmother mm -hmm. on his mom's, mom's side. Of and, and none on his dad's side at all? I, I couldn't tell you about that because uh, his, his grandfather, Thornsbury, was a very hateful, mean man. Yeah. <laughs> he probably always, didn't talk about it too much. No, he didn't because every, what they talk about... Talk about him fighting, and then, of course, that sounds like the Indian too. But we, they never did say nothing about him being Indian, and right. of course, he could have been. Was he, he a drinker too? His grandfather? No, he was a preacher. Oh, he was. He was. Yeah. And his son, his son was drunk, though. So. Yeah. His, his son and uh, well, his son was, and then Roy's, Jake's was a drunk, hey, you know. Right. And, what um. What what did he what kind of preaching did he do? I I couldn't tell you because I don't know. But most of them was Pentecost. Oh, because but that's an English church, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, and uh, that was what my mother name was too, Pentecost. Uh -huh. and, uh, 
My mother used to read the Bible from the time I was a little bitty. We always read the Bible. She read the Bible to us, from, you know, and that's where our morals come. Where Pete's side of the family didn't have that kind of morals, you know. It sounds like you had a good. We family, had a, a good really good. Up, like just yeah. a good, kind mom and dad. And yeah, I was very family. loving. My mother was. Well, I. Uh, Katie and I were just two years apart when we were born, you know. Uh-huh. I was born two years before Katie, and I was so sickly. And then when Katie was born, she they said she could hold her in his hand. She was so little. She oh was pretty. Wow. And Mom said she carried her Katie and I around all the time for about the first year or two of our lives because she didn't know which one was going to die first. Well, and you both kind of sick mm-hmm. for a little while. Well, I was sick till. I got up to 12 years old. What kind, what kind of stuff did you have? Uh, well, now we're discovering I had allergies and, you know, just a lot of things that they didn't know nothing about back in those days. Right. And uh, uh, there's just a lot of disease went on, that, you know, the measles and, you know, just so much. Uh-huh. But uh, Mom said she just carried Katie and I both around all the time because she didn't know which one of us was going to die first. But we both made it. <laughs> And uh, I was sickly till I got 12 years old, and I had the typhoid fever and the yellow jandas, which yellow jandas is hepatitis now, uh-huh, you know, right, and, right. and a bunch of that stuff. And after I got over that, I got healthy, and I was, you know, I've had allergies all my life. But uh, as and Katie, it, did she was she no, sick growing up? No, or just she was no. A after baby? she got, she was just a little baby, but after she got any age, she never was sick till. Uh-huh. Two year, a year ago when she had cancer, a tumor in her stomach, you know, cancer. Who's the, the, the child that's just one older than you? That's Edith. And she died. She's the one with all of the boys. She had one girl and 12 boys. Wow. But she died last year. Oh, she, she had did. a girl in that. And the sister, my oldest sister is 90 years old. That's Helen. How old? 90. Your oldest sister is 90. And she just went in a nursing home here like she She just got where she couldn't see and take care of herself. And then Lily, uh, no, Ruth, died four, five years ago. And Lily died three years ago. And Cleo, my brother, died about three years, just right after Lily died. Mm-hmm. And then there's a sister, Audrey. She's had strokes and she's just near death right now. Mm-hmm. She's in the room. Uh, they're all in there. And Edith, uh, she died last year. Uh, she's uh-huh. had strokes and that. So that just leaves uh, Audrey and Helen, my uh-huh. oldest sister. Audrey is uh, four years older than I am. Uh-huh. And uh, Helen, my oldest, and Audrey, and then I and Katie, and the, the two, Juanita and Ruby and Juanita. And how's their health? Oh, they're they're all healthy, all but Katie. <laughs> she yeah. had the what cancer. What kind of cancer did she have? I don't know. She had a tumor uh-huh. in the stomach and that. And then her daughter had breast cancer. Oh, she did. Yeah, same. You know, just like Katie, my daughter Kathy, week after, you know, Pete died found out she had cancer and she had surgery. What kind of cancer did you have? It was um, ovarian. Yeah. Is she doing all right? She yeah, she's doing good, but my mother died of cancer also. What kind of cancer did you have? Uh, it's probably it's the colon because it was in her bowel. Uh-huh. Right, that was so there are a lot of cancer in my family. Did you have other brother or your brother or your, any of their sisters have cancer? No. Was they it was a diabetic, but they didn't have cancer. Which ones were diabetic? They were all diabetics, but I and Juanita, the baby, the baby and I were the only one out of the group that was not a diabetic. So were they using insulin? Do you know? Did they? No, they just used the pill. For I know it. Uh-huh. Like How old were they when they started their diabetes? Well, they were oh, 60s. Yeah, you know. Oh, in their 60s? Yeah, they, oh, was, they wasn't mom, children. No, but the the they, they were all, uh, you know, 
know, they were getting on up there a long way before they, you know, had right. it. Yeah, and so we don't know if the medicine created, you know, because medicine can. Well, were they taking the medicine before they got diabetes? Yeah. What kind were they taking? I don't know. That I know. Uh, Was it for the diabetes? No. No. They, uh. Lily, no, 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 Lily, she had a stroke, mm -hmm. and she had high blood pressure, and Lil, uh, Ruth, those are the two oldest, Ruth and Lily, Right. And next to the oldest one, they, uh, I think they all had strokes, and they had high blood pressure. So maybe they were taking some blood pressure medication, so Could have been. stroke mm -hmm. prevention, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But my brother Cleo now he was in the uh, in the war World Two World War Two uh -huh. and he was over in Saipan Iwo Jima where they burnt the Indian uh, burnt the Japanese out of the trees and stuff uh -huh. and he came back and he never was well after that that was your brother mm -hmm. and he they thought he had TB but it it wasn't there uh -huh. but he you know that. Them flames and everything, burning his lungs, and he had a lot of problems. So he was in, at Iwo Jima? Is that what you yeah. Said? Mm -hmm. Saipan and Iwo Jima and all of those. Do you know what um, division or what? what I believe uh, in a, mm, 181, I believe. 181st? Mm -hmm. And then see, Audrey, the, the sister of mine that is. is bad off, had a stroke and everything. Her uh -huh. husband, Urban, uh, he was in the, the Battle of the Bulge in World War II. Uh -huh. He was in the Battle of the Bulge and where they found all those pe bad people burned and everything. At the camp? Oh, yeah. He, he was in so all that. So did he go into a camp then? Yeah, he went into that bad camp. Oh, and, my gosh. and he wouldn't talk about it. I, it I, just, I can't imagine you know, even like being able The to only thing I ever heard heard him say that he wouldn't bar, buy a brown bar of soap. He said they made soap oh, right, out of, out of people. people. Yeah, and and uh, But anyway, he came home and uh, he, you know, came through the war fight and within two months he died. Uh, he was working in the lead mines in Missouri and a uh, trolley car got loose and oh. smashed him and killed him. And he made it through World War II. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had uh, four children, two, three, three girls and a boy. And uh, after he died, my sister Audrey, they had bought their home there in the lead mines. Mm -hmm. And they um, they took uh, Audrey, moved out. She couldn't stand to live there, so she let her oldest daughter Doris move in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, she had a couple or three children, and uh, uh, they hadn't lived there too long. And the gasoline exploded and burned off all three of her children. Oh. I have that newspaper clipping somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was. And uh, then, uh, and then uh, after that, by Doris, the mother had lost these. Uh -huh. had one, and he's a, you know, one of these, uh, he's crippled, you know, he can't take care of himself, he's a spastic, and, uh -huh. you know, what is that called? I guess. Palsy. Palsy, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's, oh, he's, you know, like getting up close to 30 years old, but he's okay, always, she ha always has to wait on the hand and So she, you know, let's. Audrey's side of the family has really had a bad luck. You want to do what? You can talk to, you know, I don't know anything about what, what she has. What do you want? Tell me. So just go in there and just play whatever you see. Did you see something in there that you wanted to watch? There's TV in there. You want to watch the TV? I don't have, I didn't bring anything. Go in there, William, and see what, what's all in there. There are all kinds of good stuff in there. There are even a doll there with you could put some clothes on. Sitting back there in the chair, see it?
<laughs> That's what play out. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, most of us kids, my sisters and brothers, we all grew up on the farm. My dad owned the farm. How old were you when you when you left the farm? You left at Mary Pete, right? Did you live there until you got married? We, we lived there, and then we continued to live there. He farmed with my dad till we came out here. Uh -huh. So you grew up and lived until you moved out here pretty much on a farm. I lived all life, and when he'd asked me in 1943 to marry him, my dad was putting on his shoes to go to work that morning. We married on a Monday morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> we started to run off on Saturday, but we were so young and stupid, we didn't know that we needed a marriage license, and they didn't sell them on Saturday. <laughs> we was pretty green. <laughs> and uh, so we, he came in and asked my dad if he cared for him marrying me, and he says, I don't care for you marrying her, but I'll have to hire a man to take her place, because I work beside my dad just like a man, uh -huh. yeah, cutting wood or whatever. Driving yeah. a team, tractor, or you're whatever. Pretty, you're a pretty good farm worker. I was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I could keep up with my dad. And Were my you, dad. Did you do more work than your other sister? Oh, yes. How about than Cleo? Uh, Cleo was kind of a pet. <laughs> was a pet? Because he was the one son? Yeah, yeah. With, with Cleo whatever. got away with anything and everything. But Is that right? Of course, yeah. he was before me, and, you know, and he married. Oh, I was about... 12 or 13 when he married. Uh -huh. and so I really, you know, I guess he did work in that, but I do know that they sure did humor him in that uh, were, who, Which other of the sisters were good farm? Were good on the farm? They, the only one, and she didn't work like I did, was Lily. That was the next to the oldest. Uh -huh. But, uh. Well, what was it? You just really liked that farm work? Or you didn't well, really my dad just needed help. I mean, yeah. we all farmed in that. And and I mean, I, I would get up early in the morning and go milk four cows and feed the hogs and horses and then go to work And when I wasn't in school. And our school consisted of, of uh, we'd start in school in uh, November and we'd go clear through till uh, the first of May. Uh -huh. And then uh, uh, during... We went back to school in the middle of July and to August, and then we was out to pick cotton and stuff. Uh -huh. So we had two different times. Did you do a lot of work in the cotton field? Oh, I did everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always said, because I worked so hard, and, you know, with my dad and everything, that's probably why I'm still so healthy. It is probably why you're still you so know. healthy. Really, it does make a difference. And, uh, because the others wasn't that healthy or nothing. Uh, but, no, there wasn't anything that I didn't do or couldn't do. That's what he told me when we got married. He says, I don't care if you're married, but I'll have to hire you someone to take her place. <laughs> so, and what was so strange about that after we was married my dad and mom went to Ar Paragool, Arkansas with us to marry uh -huh. and uh, he had a, a pickup truck and we went back to Missouri I was living in Arkansas at the time we moved over there from Missouri and Paragool, Arkansas for a year uh -huh. and we got in this truck and went back to where I was from Cena, Missouri and uh we went into Pete's dad's house, and he had just lost his mother two months before that we married. The gra Pete's grandpa? Or no, grandma? his mother. His oh, mother, his mother. His oh. mother. She just had. Oh, two, she just died in childbirth at 36. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. months before we married. Oh, I didn't Mar In March, she died, and we was married the 3rd of May. Uh-huh. And uh, so we went over to, you know... My mother would get up in the morning, and she'd call us girls to get up and help her fix breakfast. Uh -huh. When I took breakfast, I mean, we'd have, you know, ham and bacon or sausage and eggs and gravy and potatoes. We really had breakfast. When you went over to... No, no, when I was at home. Oh, when you were at home. And what, is, what was Pete eating for breakfast? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I... 
my mother would wake us up and we'd set the table and help her cook while, you know, till we got breakfast hey, ready. Let's, let's let this one person here. And uh, uh, then when we got in the truck and went to Pete's house, I went in and my mother was clean woman, you know, very clean. And Pete's mother was a very clean woman. I mean, you could eat off her floor. Uh -huh. But after she died, then it changed right. altogether, you know. And... Uh, we we went into his house and everything was, you know, a mess. And of course we'd been all day, you know, and we hadn't had anything to eat. So because we didn't have a lot of money back then, you know, that was just coming out of the depression, and you had to work to make. I mean, you could work all day for a dollar. I mean, you know. But anyway, we came to Pete's house and we went in there, and Pete was looking around for something to eat. Uh huh. And I was so used to, we'd go to the cellar or, or some, you know, we had, my mother canned all the time and uh -huh. had all kinds. Well, we went in there and all I could find was some flour. <laughs> well, I never cooked. My mother cooked. Uh -huh. I helped. Yeah, but you I, were the farm worker. Yeah, I never cooked. So I, I didn't know how to cook or nothing, you know. And there wasn't nothing there to cook. So Pete... Dad came in and he got mad because I hadn't cooked. And now he had it. There was John, Tom. Now these boys all have nicknames. <laughs> John's was, uh, I can't remember his, but Tom's was Jigger. <laughs> they was all different, you know. So there was John, and Jiggers, and Frank, and Eve, four kids there. Well, come to find out, whenever Pete left Jake, Pete wanted to ask him a few things, you know, because Pete was like me. He was he was very naive, uh -huh. the only word I can use. He was very naive. He had never been with a girl other than me and him, you know, and we uh -huh. never kissed till after we was married. <laughs> and hold hands, that's all we'd ever done. And right. So he was trying to find out something about sex life, you know, or uh -huh. something. And Pete's dad started making fun of him. He said, boy, are you behind times. Uh-huh. Who making said that? Jay, Pete's Jake, dad. Yeah. And so it embarrassed Pete. Hey! So uh -huh. we went on. Yeah, and uh, so when he come in and I hadn't cooked anything, didn't see anything to cook. Right. <laughs> Hey, Ari, you know what I think? I think you kids, you and William, it would be a good thing for you guys to so, go out and do some He told time. Pete I was a lazy person. Yeah, which was not true since you were doing all the work on the farm and there was nothing No, to do. there was nothing lazy. I just didn't. So Pete and them went out and run down a chicken. And they had killed a chicken. Uh -huh. And he the chicken and dumplings. Uh -huh. Well, I'd never, you know, I'd kill chickens. <laughs> I'd wring their heads off. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that was what we had that evening. And next morning, same old thing. All I could see is some well, flour. Yeah, you guys you know. have so much energy in your body. I bet so I didn't, I didn't know what to cook. They put nothing there. How about going to so we, so we, uh, you guys need to do something with your body. We just lived there not two weeks till. We went back over to my dad's house because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. You know, expect me to do all the abortion on the washboard. I had never done anything like that. You know. So so we went back over there and Pete and I started farming with my dad. And, uh, so uh, we uh, went over there and started farming with him. So, uh, then I started working out for my neighbor, chopping cotton, you know, for my neighbor. So, that was the beginning of the of my life. <laughs> we had a good life, we, you know, just two of us. But it wasn't long till I found out Pete did have a temper. <laughs> Uh, I went to town. I chopped cotton and, you know, made a little money. And I didn't have a lot of things, so 
mom gave me some stuff, but you know, we when we moved to the farm with my dad, that we had a, a kitchen and the stove was already there and a table, you know. And we had a little t small bed, you know. And that's all we had. And, but I didn't have no pretty bedspreads. And I went to town and had the money and I bought a bedspread, bought a quilt bedspread. Come home and it made me mad because <laughs> I had spent the money. <laughs> that was her first fight. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we just, as I said, and then a year later, uh, we was married on May the 3rd in 43, and then, and then a year later, and May the 11th, 44, when Doc was born. And I had a hard labor because the doctor had already told him, see, when I had typhoid and all that, when I was 12 years old, my body, I was as big then as I am now. I never grew after 12 years old. My body didn't grow. And he told Pete my pelvic was too small to have children. <laughs> what a laugh. <laughs> so it took me three or four days to have Doc, and I was at home. Oh, wow. And, of course, now they had a cesarean or something, you know, took the hospital. No wonder I hadn't died. It was really painful. Was Doc your biggest baby? No, him and Delinda was about the same size. And uh, they Did were they nine pounds. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Delinda and Doc is 18 months apart. So by the time Doc was nine months old, I was pregnant with Delinda. And I was working out in the field like before, you know, with the tractors take a tractor and go uptown and get choppers for the cotton and, you know, work all day long. And Pete's dad, they, as I said, lived on the river, and so they got drowned out and had to move. And they moved over there in a little house by us. And it was the same old thing. He took everything we had instead of then he married an old woman by the name of Elmer, and she's dirty and filthy and lazy. And uh, while I worked all day, I I always cooked something, you know, so I, when Pete and I come in from work, we'd have it ready and i you know, sit down and eat. Well, in the meantime, while we was out working, these four kids would come in and eat everything up. So and that wasn't bad enough. I... Uh, <laughs> I'd come in for dinner or supper, and that them four kids was always with us, and I had to cook for them too. And so it was pretty hard. And uh, that lasted, well, I guess, about two years around there, something like that. And Jake married Thelma, and yeah, well, it didn't help. I mean, she was so lazy. The kids still come over and ate everything I had, and always living with us. In fact, uh, the day Danny was born, Pete had to take them kids home because I kept telling Pete I was going to have a baby, you know. And uh, Jake was out drinking. He, he wanted me and Pete to take, take over the kids, you know. Mama, do you have any rope or wood? No, I don't. What about no, wood? I, no, I don't. No rope. No. I gave it all away. Don't have any of the shed out there? Well, them are Bob's and Delinda's oh. shed. They're my shed, but they got all their stuff in it, locked up. Well, we might have to do something. Another idea. Go look in there. They used to be a jumping rope in there. Go look in them baskets and that around. But anyway, we had all of those kids, and they were going to have docks. He had to literally take those boys home, and he had to find his dad because he was out running around. Again. And it made him mad because he brought him home. So I, we raised them. I mean, we always had them boys and everything until we came out here from, to Oregon. No matter where we was or what, we had to take care and feed them boys. And most of the time, feed Jake and them. Uh, 
I could scan and, you know, and raise potatoes and tomatoes and a bunch of stuff, so I had food. But it took everything we had to feed them all, you know. And he didn't make a crop and make any money. Why? Pete's dad was always there to get us. So that, Pete never did say, but I know that's why we came to Oregon, because, you know, we had to get away from him because he just wasn't a good man. <laughs> and as he said, he expected his children to make him a living, and he told them all that, you know. He did them all that way. We was the worst, the first, but he did them all that way. And they all more or less moved away and left him, you know. And, but he died. Uh, he died in his sleep. Jake died in his sleep one, uh, one morning and never woke up. But we was already been out here 10 years or so. And that's one reason we've never been sorry to go back, if, you know. Uh, his family just lived with us all the time. And I, I mean, I had, you know, I worked a lot in that, in the fields, and, you know, I had all of my six kids by then, too, and they still expected us to take care of them and feed them, and, you know, so it was a pleasure for me to get out and away from them. I know it was. He, that's when it was 1960, and we come out in May out here. And we've never been sorry. <laughs> we've never been sorry we came to Oregon. <laughs> my kid says they do they go back but they don't want to stay back there. They'll end up Bob still want to talk about going back to that. So So Jake died in nineteen seventy or so? Uh, was anybody living with him still? Well, him and Velmer lived together, that old woman he married. But she was so creepy in that why? <laughs> but anyway, after he died, she found another man and remarried. <laughs> so, but all the boys did very well. Tom. John and Frank, you know, they've all been, they all, all own their own home and everything. They said that the East and his sister, they, they've all done very well, too, you know. They, they've come out of poverty, what they've raised up in, you know. But they're all, they all have a temper and they can't get along with each other. Which is always, I, we, because my sisters and I, till this day, we all like to get together. We have such a good time, you know. And my mother, she just enjoyed it when we'd all, you know, could get together. Mom, we played a lot of ball, ball, growing up too. You know, my mother, every Sunday, a bunch of people would come to our house, and my mother would cook for them all, make big old pumpkin pies, and chicken and potatoes and gravy, and she'd see everybody was there, and we usually had a lot, probably 15 or 20 people or more there every Sunday. And, uh, then my sister started marrying off and that. And life was different, and uh, Ruth, uh, Ruth's husband, she she married when she was 13 years old, Ruth did, my number two sister. She had a son and daughter, J.W. J. and Wilma Jean. And she had another son, Marvin John. But um, by the time she was 18, uh, her husband took pneumonia in that. Back, that was back in the 40s. They take pneumonia and they didn't have anything to cure it. And so her husband, she had a real good husband and he died. And two weeks later, her son, Marvin John, died too the new moment. So Ruth was just a young girl with two kids, you know, and, and she remarried a year or two later, but he wasn't as good as 
But then Lily and Helen had married. Cleo didn't marry till it was close to in the fifties when Cleo finally married. He had two boys, Leon and Robert. Leon, uh, Leon still lives back there in Missouri, but uh, Robert <clears throat> was killed in Denver, Colorado, in a hit and run accident back in the eighties. Audrey remarried after Urban got killed. Yeah. Edith married two or three times. One husband had died, she turned right around and married another. I guess I and Katie and Juanita is the only one that didn't marry but once. And uh, when Dick died last in March, you know, this year. They, they've been married uh, about 59 years. Katie and Dick had they've been married 59 years then when he died. He died with Alzheimer's. But he died with cancer, with colon cancer, and he also had a tumor up here in his chest. So, he were married for 60 years. We were married just like the must be in 60 years. I was 17 and he was 18 when we married. And I was 18 and he was 19 when Doc was born. <laughs> so by the time I was 27, I had had a whole six of kids. Doc and Delinda was 18 months apart, and then Jerry was three, and then Janet and Delinda, uh, Janet and Kathy was a year apart, and then Becky, she's three years younger, so they were all pretty close. <laughs>